Our next speaker agrees that Facebook is hyped, but says that it's Twitter that's underappreciated. I guess that several thousand percent growth is not enough for this person. Um, Allison Rooney is the uh, Senior Business Development and Market Technology Advisor to Fried Frank, Harris, Shriver, and Jacobson, an international law firm of more than 500 attorneys working out of the world's financial centers. Allison is responsible for setting customer relationship strategy to enhance business development growth, having led similar charges at law firms uh, such as Oric, Harrington, and Sutcliffe, and White and Case. You can follow her on Twitter. She's live tweeting this at uh, bizdevaj. Allison. Thank you. So it's great to be here. Thank you very much. Thanks, David. Um, I guess I kind of want to start with some of the comments that were made to kind of um, tie into some of my remarks. Um, I really liked your opening, David. I think one of the comments I'd like to kind of, kind of jump off of, which is um, the whole notion of an expert opinion. Working for a law firm is essentially what a law firm is all about, is expert opinion. And um, I'm sort of always fascinated when I talk to lawyers about leveraging tools, and I'm sort of not really at giving anyone to tweet, but I'll get there. Um, but even things like LinkedIn, which are very corporate from my, my perspective, or even you know, looking at some blogs, they have a lot of concerns <laughs> over what am I going to say. I find that sort of fascinating, and here we are in a law firm, I'm sure you lawyers are saying to yourself, I have lots of things to say, but nobody potentially is interested. And I'd absolutely say, actually, that's obviously not really true. I mean, that's what they're looking for is expert <laughs> opinion um, from lawyers. And no, likely you can't talk about a client or a matter that you're working on. But surely there's a lot of things that are happening in your industry on a day-to-day -day basis that are, that are fascinating to everybody. And something that Jonathan also said, which is something I really agree with in the industry that I work in, is it is a chance to humanize. Unfortunately, I think because of what's happened in the um, financial markets, and certainly law firms were a part of building some of those financial products, um, there's a lot of mistrust. And I think there's a real opportunity to build community, um, to build kind of a um, more human face on who we are as professionals and kind of remove from that B2C area, which is supposed to be more friendly and accessible, to really making business more friendly and accessible, because it's essentially what we all do all the time. And um, that's really sort of my message to lawyers that I work with. And I'll kind of give you a, a sort of a quick overview about where I stand and what I do every day. Um, you know, my primary mission is business development, is to work with the lawyers to help them generate new business opportunities. And I see all of these different tools of, of social as well as search um, to be a real great tool. The place we really start with um, in law firms is around uh, customer relationship management. And I'm sort of at the nut, nuts and bolts, if you will, um, building systems and infrastructure around customer relationship management and kind of building that infrastructure so that ultimately we can build a platform that's really um, integrates social media. Um, the most recent law firm where I was um, head of marketing and business development, we launched this really fascinating newsletter, which was kind of a first of its kind. And we worked on it. It was a weekly newsletter that was sort of a digest of everything that was happening during the financial crisis. And what we heard from clients was, you know, look, there's new regulations coming out daily um, you know, between the FDIC and the SEC. How do we keep on top of this? So we took it upon ourselves to become the information source. And every Friday morning, we would deliver this newsletter, which was a digest of the week's developments. And throughout the week, we would, add, you know, we would um, kind of add, you know, video and different links, and kind of make a rich media piece by the end of the week. And we learned so much about our clients in that experience. You know, what was most compelling to them, what issues they had, because we could obviously, through the CRM system and the infrastructure, we were able to track what interested them most. And that comes you know, back to the business development opportunity, because that's what I'm there to do, is to really to enhance their opportunity to build new client relationships and to deepen existing relationships. And I think of, you know, all, all the tools that we have out there, um, just as another opportunity to deepen that relationship, from my perspective. And I have to say thanks to The Deal magazine, if there's any journalists here from The Deal today, because there was a great piece on, um, one of the most senior, well-respected M&A partners at Sullivan Cromwell, who tweets. And um, his name is Frank Aquila. You can find him. He's, uh, his handle is uh, F-A-Q-U-I-L-A. And he says, um, you know, I get links to stories that I might not otherwise see, but of course I don't tweet about clients or anything that the firm is working on. And he says, essentially, uh, I think lawyers should be willing to participate in any form of social networking that they are personally interested in doing so as long as they remember their obligations to their clients. 
And I think that's a fantastic message. And going back to kind of what I opened with, which was, what do we have to talk about? There's a, there's a lot to be said, and I think this concept around delivering something that's snack size is great, and I think I'll definitely use that <laughs> term again. Um, but I think this, this idea around taking the intellectual property that firms already are developing, you're already writing memos, you're already you know, giving clients advice, to kind of see that as an opportunity to share that information more broadly. And I just see these tools that we have, and I, I'm not trying to minimize them by calling them tools, but I think it's just really a way to deepen those relationships. So thanks all, I'm excited to be here tonight.